Mind Ramble and today I'm going to talk about my monthly favourites. My first and absolute most important favourite for this month is that I started my apprenticeship and I love it. I enjoy it so much. For some of you who don't know, I used to go to university to become a graphic designer and now I'm doing a similar thing as an apprenticeship. In German, you can't call yourself a designer if you don't get a university degree, so it's similar but it has a different name. On the 1st of August I started there and the company has been so friendly and welcoming, it was just extremely enjoyable from day one. As an apprentice you will also go to school and asking the others how they work and what their companies will give them for exercises I really realised that I got a lot of responsibility in my company which is great because you know it's important, you have to work hard to make sure it's good. Obviously I'm not going to get a massive project for myself but it seems like I'm helping the other designers because I get small snippets of their work so they can spend more time concentrating on the whole project they have to do. The company had made time to introduce each section and each department of their company to us, the apprentices. We are four apprentices this year and I'm the only designer in those four apprentices. We have two developers and one girl doing office management. I could do a whole entire video on just my apprenticeship alone but I have different favourites that I want to share as well. The second favourite is also connected to my apprenticeship. When I'm working on my laptop, I'm a trackpad kind of girl. I use a trackpad for everything and I do realise that I sometimes get cramps in my fingers. And I do have a mouse but I really prefer using the trackpad. The woman responsible for me in the company came to me and said, wow, I, I realise you use the trackpad a lot and I think over time this will really slow you down. Why don't you try and use a Wacom tablet? A Wacom tablet is a drawing tablet and so I got a Wacom tablet from my company which I could use generally all the time. After getting used to the tablet it's really enjoyable to work with it. It really doesn't give me craps at the moment and so now I use the Wacom tablet as a mouse and use the trackpad to zoom and move around and I do realise that I sometimes tend to go back to the trackpad and forget that I have the tablet but that's probably just because old habits die hard. I could just see how it would improve my design when I get used to it and learn all the shortcuts and learn how to use it properly which will take time obviously. I definitely enjoy using it and I'm considering getting one for at home as well but I'm still thinking about that one. I'm allowed to listen to music or podcasts at work and this month I found a podcast called Primal Potential. It's a podcast about how to get into a healthy lifestyle and she talks about everything dealing hormones, how to eat, how to lose weight, how to interpret your body signals and it's so interesting. The first day I listened to a podcast I realised that I listened to so many episodes that I sort of said okay take a break or the whole podcast will be over before you know it. But I definitely enjoy her podcast, it's really interesting, it's really informative as well and I'm sure for those of you who want to lose weight or want to get into that healthy lifestyle, it would be great and informative for you. My last monthly favourite I won't elaborate on too much because it's also the monthly challenge for this month. I'm really really enjoying doing sports on a regular basis. After work I get home and just immediately put on my sport clothes and work out in my room and it really helps me to turn off from work. I'm usually someone who totally overthinks everything so when I get home and directly do sports I just turn off my brain to all the things that I have to think about at work. I know from previous work experiences where I wouldn't do sports afterwards I would think the whole evening on how to improve the exercises that I did, improve the project, how to bring the project forward 
and I wouldn't turn off. And now I get home, I do my sport things, my thoughts are gone on all things work. Long term, I think this will really, really help me not to stress too much on what's happening at work and have a really good work-life balance. This month, I haven't had a difficulty finding monthly favorites that I could bring to you in this video. It just came to me. During the month, I just had so many ideas on what I could put into this video that I had to narrow it down to the four things that I really, really enjoyed. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you subscribe so you can see all my videos that I post every Sunday. And I'll see you next week. Bye.